key um, technical challenges is uh, and communication. How you uh, coordinate your actions with the robot and how the robot, robot understands your intention. Now, one interesting point here is that, uh, you know, remember that this robot is attached to your body. And if that is, a, you know, uh, your real you know, biological arm, you know, although we have uh, some nice techniques like uh, voice recognition, but uh, do you speak to your arm, uh, please move uh, one inch in this way and that way? We don't. <laughs> we just move it, right? So although these techniques are being developed very well, you know, um, voice recognition, for instance, um, but we found that those techniques are a little distal. Um, you know, um, I mean, uh, that's not so much intimate, uh, you know, if the, uh, you, know, you need to communicate with the uh, extra arms attached to your body. So we thought about something that more natural, more kind of intuitive method to, um, you know, convey our intention to the robot. Um, so um, we, uh, in many ways, we use the you know, kind of gesture uh, or, you know, um, body sign understanding. Um, and some of the techniques, uh, you know, uh, we're exploring is basically, you know, uh, taken from uh, prosthetics. And this is an interesting, you know, analogy. Although our robot is extra arms and prosthetics is the replacement of, uh, you know, um, missing arms, but uh, they have developed many interesting techniques uh, such as using uh, some of the part of the you know, shoulder motion uh, because in a human body and it has uh, lots and lots of uh, degrees of freedom, about 200 degrees of freedom. So even though you fix the end point, you can still move to some other part of the body. So they, you know, uh, put some wearable sensors and that is to get the body sign to, uh, you know, communicate uh, with the prosthetic arms. Also, one of my graduate students uh, um, who has been interested in the brain signals information uh, processing, and he tried to use the um, brain signals to communicate uh, with the robot. Uh, but again, I know this one is not just a general, general use. We use this arm in a particular um, in a context for a particular task. So the kind of judgment the robot has to make, whether the human wants to do this or not, it's some, just a few uh, you know, decisions to make. So it's a relatively easier job. So it's not actually a scientific fiction again to use the brain signals or some other signals of which can be taken from the human body and convey that one to move uh, your extra um, arms and legs.